Welcome to the RSP Film Room. I'm Matt Waldman with the Rookie Scouting Portfolio. We're going to take a look at Miami wide receiver Charleston Rambo, a transfer from Oklahoma. And when he was a four-star recruit at Oklahoma, who was supposed to be the next in line of receivers like Marquise Brown and C.D. Lamb, first-round pick type of players. But he never really emerged there, never truly emerged. But he certainly had a terrific season with the Hurricanes and put himself back in consideration as probably a top 100 player in this draft class, at least from what I'm seeing. You know, occasionally when I'm on social media and seeing some of my colleagues talk about um you know, draft spot for a player. But let's take a look at his game. I really like a lot about Charleston Rambo's game, but there are some things with him that could get in the way between him becoming a contributor in the NFL and being a straight up every down starter. And so we're going to explore some of those things. If he can either overcome it, some of the issues he has and improve, or he can show that what he does technique wise and athletic from an athletic standpoint are good enough for the NFL as is, then he might prove to be that exception to the rule. There aren't many of them though, but let's talk about him. We're going to see him at the top of the screen here against Alabama. And one of the things that I like about him is how he uses his hands. One of the recurring themes that you're going to see with Rambo is with releases, with blocking, and at the top of his routes, he's good with hand fighting. He does a good job with the stick inside. He he brings the, the wipe downward, even though the defender doesn't fully shoot his hands. And then they're hand fighting here. And you can see that Rambo doesn't get distracted by that. He does a good job of dropping his weight at the top of his stem. Nice sharp turn to the outside. Flips those hips well. Comes back to the ball. Really like that. And then the ball's a little low. He's able to catch that ball low and avoid you know, any type of issue with that. Takes a little contact at the end there while he's on the ground. Even if the ball came out, probably would have been considered a catch here. But still, this is nice work, especially with the hands. He's, he's got quick hands. He can make sudden turns. We're going to take a look at more of this here in a, in a few. I think Rambo's one of the better blockers at the wide receiver position in this class. His effort's good. You're going to see him work inside against the outside linebacker. He gets basically chest to shoulder, drives his feet, keeps his feet spread, able to shuffle a little bit, and at least effectively shield number four here. Let's see if we can get a better look at it. You're going to see number four right here. And right there. See how he gets chest to pads. Feet spread well. And he's able to maintain that position just long enough so that the tight end there can get some yardage. Rambo is a technician off the line in terms of releases. He has a wide variety of footwork and hand usage patterns, and he combines them very well, either multiple footwork types or hands and feet, or sometimes multiple hand uses. You can see him here. This is a running play, but he's stealing a release against the defender, which means that he's using a technique to act like he's releasing into a route to see how the defender will react to it so that he can store that in the data bank for later and see how he can set him up. And you're going to see he's going to use a, a double up right there. See how he doubles up with the right foot to the outside? One, two, and then he uses his hands. Let's look at it one more time in slow motion. One, two, and then he uses a, a hand combination too with a swat and then basically a swat and a wipe. So he swats with the inside arm right there, wipes over top, and then he gives an extra little swat at the top of his stem. So very active hands and feet. And this is, this is really nice to see because even when it's a play where he's not going to be getting the ball, He's using different types of footwork and handwork and in con combinations and different variations of combinations to work against, you know, top corners. And that gives him some data to work with. You also get to see how quick the feet are. He has good quickness to the feet. He has explosive hands in terms of the suddenness in which he uses them. And he's able to use them accurately and in different variations. I find that there's a lot of breaks 
to the right with Rambo's game in terms of the way Miami uses him. He's inside trips um, left here, and he's going to break across on this crossing route against a safety. I like how he comes off the line. No wasted motion. This is very common. He keeps his hands up, not crossed, so he's in a position where he can get low to lower and roll off that front foot, really sell the vertical on this play, work a little bit to the inside, but then when he, he takes the long break step, which I like, but this, this second step, that drive step, can be a little sharper, just a little bit sharper, and definitely this line step here drifts him into the defender. So you want to see Rambo do a better job, and I see this on out routes. I see this on any route that breaks to the right and not back to the quarterback, that he tends to drift a little bit. He has usually one or two out of the three steps he needs to be flat, and it's just not flat enough, and he ends up making contact here. Now, he's not targeted on this play. It's a running play, but still, I see this even on plays where he, you know, they are going to throw the ball. One of the other things that we're going to talk about a good bit with Rambo, he's at the bottom right, is separation. I have concerns about his ability to consistently get deep against corners one-on-one. -on -one. He can do it on occasion, but against top flight guys, you know, he's efficient with his moves. He gives a nice little stick outside. He gets inside here. And while there's a defender over top and the defender can play inside here, you know, he can get some early separation, but see how the defender is able to work back inside and across and then get on top. I mean, that's a good sign here that the defender's quicker than the receiver. And, you know, the receiver stumbles a bit here, but the defender's able to work around the back and then get on top. That tells you a little bit about Rambo's um, ability to separate or re-accelerate. And, and I think these are two areas where I'm very interested to see his workouts because I think, I think he has NFL speed. I don't think he has primary starter deep threat speed. I think that he can occasionally get deep with help, meaning, you know, play action passes, certain types of routes against zone, maybe some double moves against man. But those are going to be the majority of the times that you're going to see him get deep. Now, if he's not jammed or covered tightly and he can just take off here without making having to make any move to reaccelerate, He's going to be able to run past certain defenders when it comes to playing inside. This is a good example here. He gets tripped up here and they call him defensive interference. But you can see that, you know, against safeties he'll win. Against some nickel corners I think he'll be okay in terms of earning separation. Um, even if he doesn't have top-notch speed. But that's the thing. You know, this is a guy who is... 6'1", 185, at least that's the listing right now. You know, when you're that size, oftentimes you fit the profile of a guy who should be a burner. And if Rambo isn't really a burner, then he's going to have to become a master for a route runner. Now, he has potential to do that. Um, but, you know, he's going to have to work continue to refine his routes, and then we're also going to have to look a little bit more at what he does at the catch point. We're going to talk about that soon, too. So he can get deep, but he's not your primary deep threat. And part of the issue that concerns me is acceleration. Does he have good acceleration? You're going to see number 23, the the playing you know, four-point stance, a defensive end here. And you're going to see Rambo work to the outside in this little drag across the, the formation. Catches the ball right here. Yeah, it's thrown to his back shoulder. But look at 23, or, you know, this end come down the line and essentially have the angle. You know, you want to see a receiver beat a defensive end. You want to see him accelerate and get this corner. And he can't get the corner against this guy. And this is, you know, one of several plays I saw where when I think about acceleration, I think... I don't see that in great supply with Rambo's game. I see him more as a build-up speedster. But not a guy who can pull away from people in situations you'd expect from you know, primary wide receivers.
Well, maybe not a speedster and maybe he lacks great acceleration. He is quick and he uses his footwork well here. You're going to see in bottom right, you're going to see a, you know, a quick two. You're going to see him wipe down with the arm there and then kind of arm bar the defender a little bit to get nice separation. Catch the ball and take contact to his back. These are all, you know, nice little displays here to be able to get separation on the slant. Now, I'd like to see better hand position. You know, when you watch this play and you see him coming across here, he's trapping this ball. He also leaps for the ball that's really more at shoulder helmet level. And he lets the ball tight into his frame. And I noticed that there's a lot of plays on his tape where the ball is a little too tight to his frame because he doesn't get his hands out and up, you know, you know, up and out really like forward to attack it at the earliest window. And as a result of that, he's inviting the coverage to be able to get a hit on the ball. And it makes his, you know, Rambo's opportunities a little more difficult because he's not securing this ball as early as he could if he attacked the ball at the earliest window. And leaving his feet there, he doesn't need to do. Now, it's a, something that he does occasionally on these types of targets, but it's not something that is every type of target that's at the numbers and above he does. I mean, he there's times that he will actually show skill with being able to keep his feet on the ground with targets that are above his head, tracking it well. Another thing that Rambo does very well with his routes is setting up the defender with leverage. He'll attack the leverage of the defender. He'll also work into the back. See how the defender's got his back turned looking at the quarterback? Rambo does a good job working into the back and then making that quick turn so that he gets separation. Now, here's a case where he attacks the ball early. He gets his arms out, but even still, they're bent a little bit. And you can see that it would be better if he can get his arms out and catch the ball a little bit earlier. Get the you know, get the arms forward a little bit more, hands forward a little bit more. But he's still able to turn inside and away from the defender and get, you know, another six to eight yards after the catch. He's not an incredibly agile runner. He's good with his footwork to get, you know, in and out of breaks, releasing. But in the open field as a ball carry, he's more of a stop-start, you know, guy who bends away from pursuit more than he is a guy with huge cuts or fancy moves. We're going to see it here again. Pretty much similar route. Takes the back of the defender. Stops. Makes the catch. Same thing. Turns inside. Avoids the defender. But here's the defender on the inside at the right hash. Catches up with Rambo. But Rambo's able to pull through that reach. Nice balance there to at least continue forward for another five yards. He's a... He's not a big guy, but he can break some tackles and bounce off some hits, and he finishes strong. We're going to see that in a little bit, too, in terms of pad level and willingness to attack defensive backs in the open field. Here he is at the top right of the screen. You're going to see a nice release off the line, just kind of low to lower. Works towards the back of the defender and then bends it back inside on the break. Drops his weight a little bit, breaks back to the ball, and now he's in the open zone. And there's the hands. The hands could be a little more forward. Again, closer to his head. See, when that ball hits his hands, the, the, the arms retract a little bit towards the head. You want to see him catch that ball a little earlier window so he doesn't have that issue of the ball coming back into his body so much. But you can see that you know he finds the open zone. His releases are good. Able to catch the ball with his hands, take some contact. This will probably be one of the plays that you're going to see on the video resume of Rambo pretty much by every big network when he gets drafted. And he's on the bottom right. Gives a little move to the outside. Nice little wipe and then makes the catch between the safety and the cornerback who's wrapping him. Let's watch it all the way through one time here. Nice little stick to the outside. Wipe with the outside arm. Stair steps the, the route. You can see that he gives his eyes to the outside. Kind of leans in and then breaks back to the inside. And then here's the catch. I mean, he makes his catch just before he gets nailed. Hit in the chest. Wrapped in the back. 
comes down with the ball flag for basically a dangerous you know dangerous hit unnecessary roughness probably dangerous play however it is they call it these days but there's the hands gets the hands out makes the play even though he gets hit tough 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 that's what you like you know Alan Hearns had that kind of toughness and I wonder if there's a little bit of Alan Hearns to uh you know in a Rambo's game in terms of maybe not being not being the fastest guy but he can make tough plays Let's see if we can get a better look at it here's the throw again we're gonna How see about it this throw from this angle here let's turn down the sound here and they're gonna show the close-up from the end zone view in a second here yeah Nice throw by De'Ara King. There's the hands. Makes the catch right there. And then takes that shot. Good throw and catch. Here's another nice display of Rambo bottom right as a blocker. You're going to see him work on this in-breaking route here. And when he realizes he's not going to get targeted, he works downfield looking towards the safety. Maybe he can block that safety. He realizes right away that he's not going to reach that safety so he looks to the next best thing which is the pursuit backside and look at this cut look at him get in front low get the hip drop the defender really nice cut here and just nice awareness i've noticed that he transitions very well from route runner to blocker and he finds someone that he can block he doesn't chase unnecessarily to players he knows he's it's a lost cause to he peels off and works to the next best thing now the hands issue let's take a look at this watch how when he has an opportunity to extend for the ball wide of his frame he makes contact but he drops the ball now part of the problem here is that he's clapping onto this ball he doesn't have his hands set in the position he needs to now this is a difficult catch in terms of hands position but he kind of claps onto it and ends up losing it and isn't able to secure it early enough here let's see if we can get a better look at it from this view but you can see that you know he gets the extension but he's catching the back end of the ball here so maybe it's a little bit of the balls a little too out in front with him on this particular play but you want to see him get really strong at catching the ball at its earliest point and even here he's just you know basically a little late with getting his hands on it in terms of the placement and part of it is his location with where the ball's placed but again you want to see him bring something like this in but you can see he can extend and retract the ball here he is in slot right working on the sail route or the out high points the ball Catches it with his hands, retracts the ball quickly, takes a little contact as he comes to the ground. No problem here. There he is, makes the catch, retracts it, little contact, no problem. I also like how Rambo finishes. Consistently, you'll see him head downhill, drop his pads. He's very good at dropping his pads into defensive backs. And he either stalemates or wins some yards after contact on a consistent basis because he'll use his pads. Not afraid to deal with tight windows and zone. Bottom right here, you're going to see him do a good job of using that violent wipe with the outside arm. And then makes his catch behind his brake path a little bit. Keeps his back to the defender as much as he can, but again, leaves his feet in a way he really doesn't need to and waits for the ball to arrive tight to his body. You'd like to see him attack this ball a little bit more. Not leave his feet. But if, you know, this is the type of thing that Terry McLaurin does this and wins a lot of catches that most receivers wouldn't based on the technical lapses here. And you can see he at first brings his hands up right there, but then decides to leap. And now it's kind of one high, one low and trapping it into his frame. 
as he takes the contact. But he keeps his back to the defender, which is nice. But if he can prove, if Rambo can prove that he can make these types of plays in the NFL, even with this kind of lackluster technique, he could be a starter. And it's a consistent part of his game. Slant top right here. Underhand catch, traps close against tight coverage on the slant. It's not a problem. He comes down with it. But it's not the type of thing you necessarily want to see on a regular basis. Nice quick three footwork to work inside here. And he kind of has a little bit of a lean in. You know, stair steps us just a bit. Using his hand to get that separation. See if we can get a look at it right here. And again, it's a late window. See how it's almost downfield of him? He has to turn, and the ball is like already at his front shoulder as opposed to his left shoulder. It's more toward the right shoulder. Again, if he can attack overhand here instead of underhand, he might have more control of this and not be in as bad of a situation. And I think when he faces defenders who are savvier at being able to attack the ball, he's going to have more difficulty in the NFL with plays like this. Unless, again, he can prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that it doesn't matter. And the only players I've seen do this are McLaurin, Golden Tate, and not, I would even say some of the time early Doucette. At least in the 17 years I've been studying wide receivers. You know, a player who exhibits this kind of lapse in technique and tight coverage and comes down with the ball consistently in the NFL are few and far between. Now, one of the things that I love about his game is willingness to work with his quarterback. Here he is outside and at the bottom, and he runs towards the back of the defender, drops his weight a little bit, comes back to the ball, sees that the quarterback is not in a position to be able to throw this ball. It's not going to break to him. He's breaking outside the pocket. And he has a defender in the flat here. He immediately slides inside. Does a great job of creating a target. Very fluid. Turns back to the ball. Underhand catch. Gets some yards afterwards. But just very fluid at the break point to come back to the ball. Know that he needs to go back inside. And is very seamless about this. And this is another part of his game that I like a lot. I like how he stacks defenders too. And you're going to see a nice little outside release. And he's going to have the swat and the swim. And then he gets that, gets that stack right there. And it forces the defender to have to wrap up early and, and basically interfere on the route. Let's take a look at it one more time. All right, here we go. Bottom right. Outside, swat, swim, stack right there. That forces the interference. As long as... Rambo has, shows that he has enough acceleration early to win like this on a consistent basis, and he has the footwork to do it. If the acceleration is just good enough, he should be able to win in ranges like this one-on-one -on -one and force, you know, and create plays, whether it's by penalty or by reception. He's certainly tough enough to make the plays against contact. Here's another nice example of Rambo finding the open space, working um, up the left um, hash. Works outside, sees the quarterback roll outside, so he breaks back to the inside, to the open spot, high points the ball, gets underneath the hit to avoid the contact, two-point conversion. And overall, there's a lot that I like about Rambo's game. I mean, one-on-one -on -one here, he's able to get outside the defender and just deal with the hand fighting and be able to separate late here through the defender with his back, the defender has his back to the receiver, and Rambo's able to work through that contact to get in front and under the ball, make the bucket catch inbounds, and draw the penalty. Let's take a look at it one more time here. Look at this late. He uses the arm to, to ward the fender off a bit and then curl himself inside and make the catch. And he's good at being able to brace the fall when he has to leave his feet to catch the ball or hit the ground. He's good at being able to land so that he's not landing on the football. And when I talk about the deep game with Rambo, here is bottom right. This is a 60 yard game. This is a lot of what you would see with, say, Van Jefferson, who's not a speedster, but he can work the long developing route against the zone, get behind a safety, tracks the ball well over his shoulder, but he's not going to separate 
you know, after the catch. You can see here, he makes the catch. He's got a trailing defender. He has to slow down a bit here, but he can't reaccelerate fast enough to get past the safety. And I find that when he has to slow down or change direction, a defender usually can make up ground within 10 to 15 yards. And this one's about 10 yards. The other thing about Rambo is that because of the hands position issue that I have questions about, even when he does have good hand position, sometimes he has some lapses catching the ball. And this ball, he looks downhill before he secures it and it winds up dropping it. You know, we'll take a look at it from this angle. And again, he can be a little earlier with the attack. And then here's another example of that late ex the inability to really re-accelerate. He's slot, um, inside trips left, catches this little look in here, makes a defender miss, but he gets caught from behind. Let's take a look at it one more time here because, you know, he does a good job with the route getting into the open space. He extends well for that ball, makes the catch. But again, it's towards that back shoulder, towards that sideline shoulder, as opposed to being in that front shoulder when he makes that catch. So again, a little bit late with where he attacks, lets that ball, you know, kind of get into him still or get a little behind him. He should be catching the ball around here as opposed to where I'm pointing right here. And then, you know, he splits the defenders. He does a nice job of coming to a, you know, changing direction with, you know, two to three step transition to get inside of the safety and then stop, start and get away from the defensive back. But right here, he can't reaccelerate enough to be able to beat 24. And let's see where 24 is on this play. I believe 24 is right here. There's 24. And even 24 has to stutter a little bit. The fact that a linebacker is able to catch him and he can't reaccelerate fast enough to really get separation on the linebacker, it's kind of just indicative of what I've seen with his game. You know, so he's just not as explosive. I don't think he's as explosive as maybe what people might have thought he'd be at Oklahoma. And maybe that's why he got overshadowed by some receivers where Oklahoma favors a more explosive profile and Rambo just didn't gain in the level of explosion that maybe they were looking for. I can't answer that for you. I can just tell you that's my my estimation. We're going to see what the combine tells us about his um, ability to accelerate. Um, I think he'll be quick enough. I think he'll have build-up speed that'll be passable. But I wonder about his acceleration. Rambo's a player I'm rooting for. I mean, he's got quick feet, lots of combinations, technically sound. Um, you know, he can take contact. He makes tough plays. He plays tough at the catch point. He plays tough, you know, as a runner and as a blocker. He's a willing blocker. He's aggressive. He seems to be a smart player, just needs to be a little bit more refined. You know, if he can continue to work at his craft, I think he has a shot to develop into a starter in the NFL. Um, but, you know, there are some things that we have that are questionable about his game. And I'm interested to see how he answers it. I'm rooting for him to be able to answer them positively. Thanks again for watching. For more RSP NFL Lens and RSP Film Room and RSP Boiler Room videos, you can check out my YouTube channel, Matt Waldman's RSP Film Room, and my site, www.mattwaldmanrsp.com.